hunt free in the air Sharp eyes everywhere Beware, Sky Hunter, beware. beware Our story so far We've gone to Mr Trim's antique shop to look for something cheap. Butch found a bargain. A camera for 50 pence. The man who'd asked us questions about Mr Trim came into the shop. He was very interested in a chest of drawers, but the drawers were stuck. He showed Mr Trim a picture. Have the contents got anything to do with this? That's our bird, yes. Your bird? What do you mean? We saw a bird like that only yesterday. <laughs> Mr Trim said the man was probably a bird thief and asked us to show him the house on the canal where we'd seen the other crooks. When we left, the man was still watching us. We hurried along the towpath, followed by Mr. Trim. We came to the back of the house where we'd heard the woman call Badger a crook. This is it. We could easily jump over that, Mr. Trim. No, no, my dears. First, we must watch and wait, spy out the land. But Mr. Trim, I bet that bird's in the shed. I could easily creep in. Trevor, Mr. Trim, down! Uh Trim, do you know him? No, my dear, it was just the shock of seeing him. He's a really nasty type. He's called Badger. Gruesome, definitely. What's he doing? Shh. Badger went to a garden shed. He opened the door and quickly threw the meat inside. Then he went back to the house. is in there. Must be. Definitely. Yes, I think we might venture to go in now. But gently, quietly, my dears. And keep to this side of the shed. Trevor, you go first. The back fence was broken, so we got into the garden quite easily. Mr. Trim opened the door of the shed. Is it the falcon, Mr. Trim? Were we right? So right, my dears, yes. This is the peregrine falcon. It was holding the meat in its strong talons. And tugging at it with its hooked beak. It was tied to a post. Isn't it beautiful? So beautiful. Yes, but no wild bird should be tied up like that. Poor thing. Should we tell the fuzz? The what? The cops, the Sweeney, you know, the police. No, no, my dears. No, wait. First, we must make quite sure that these people really are crooks. How? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go into the house and talk to them about the peregrine. Mr. Trim! They might murder you. <laughs> That's a risk we'll have to take. We'll come with you. We'll protect you. No, no, Butch. Thank you. You stay here, and, but keep out of sight. And if I'm not back in, say, uh, five minutes, then you can go for the police. Five minutes? Yes. I'll keep the time. Good. Now hide, everybody. Oh, Mr. Trim, do watch out. I will, my dear. Don't worry. We watched Mr. Trim go up to the back door. If they jump him... Shh.
Right, Badger, you worm, we meet again. Trim. Be quiet, you fool. We're being watched. Smile. Pretend you don't know me and ask me to come in. Right. Five minutes. And it was a long five minutes. And I still think we should have gone straight to the cops, like I said. So you were sure the Peregrine Falcon had been stolen? Oh, yeah. It was a crime then. And still is. To steal either the birds or their eggs. But people still do it. Look. Raid on Falcons. Egg thieves jailed. They were trying to smuggle the eggs out of the country. When the eggs hatch, a Peregrine chick can fetch up to £2,000. A peregrine falcon can sell for £10,000. £10,000? What do people want them for? For this. Falconry. It's a sport that's very popular in some countries. They use the falcons for hunting. Right, I'm off to take over at the nest. Those young chicks up there are going to stay wild birds if I've got anything to do with it. Our peregrine was a wild bird. Do you remember the first time when we saw it close to? seeing it tied to that post. I mean, no one should do that to a wild bird. Rotten crooks. There seems to be a lot of crooks in your story, Jackie. I can't get them all sorted out. Well, there was Badger. And the woman in black. And then there was the Birdman. Oh, yes. You all thought he was... a falcon thief. And what about Mr. Trim? Yeah. Remember when he first saw Badger? We should have guessed. Yes, there were too many crooks about. Here's our crook, Sid. And world watchers, listen out for this sound. It's all around. <coughs> Round about, round about, round about the house. Someone heard a sound about, a sound about the house. Someone went to scout around, scout around the house. In case there was a crook around, a crook around the house. There was at least a thousand pounds hidden round about. But someone heard a crook around, and someone found him out. Oh, oh, that's better. A branch. Oh. Saves me flying around. <laughs> oh, but I won't tell the others what I found. <laughs> Where have you gone? I can't see you. Give me a shout. Hiding, eh? Oh. <laughs> I found you out. Oh, I was having a rest, that's all. <laughs> hey, what's the sound? It's me. I got lost, and I'm stuck in the ground. <laughs> Filling up our clothesline again, Wordy. Sorry, Butch. What is it this time? I am. I am Butch. Yes, and I am. I am Wordy. But there's a shorter way to say it. <whistles> hey, Jay, <coughs> got that apostrophe? <coughs> And I'm... I'm Jay! I'm an apostrophe. Come and take a look at me. I'm not a comma, I'm not a full stop. Don't put me on the line. I go up the top. Watch how we use an apostrophe to shorten what you say to me. We will stay here. We'll stay here. Yes, that's what Butch is saying, and that is the way you write it. That is...
Come on, apostrophe, get a move on. Thank you. That's... That's how we use an apostrophe. Simmons Yat Rock, Tuesday. Now what's happening? Ah. The peregrine often makes its nest on a cliff ledge like this. It means that the chicks will be safe. Both parents at the nest now. It's hard work keeping the chicks fed. The chicks need a lot of food because they're growing very fast. The female's really tearing at that meat. That's so she can carefully feed it to each chick. The chicks will eat three or four small birds a day, so the male is off again, hunting for prey. Right. Growing. Growing. For doing and remembering, be sure you're always carrying an ink. Be sure you're always carrying an ing. Look at what I'm carrying, an ing. Are you looking? Yes, I'm looking, but look at what I'm carrying, an ing. Are you fishing? Yes, I'm fishing, but look at what I'm carrying. Now I'm flying. Well, I've stopped flying. But look at what I'm carrying. An ing. I am smuggling. I am smuggling. For doing and remembering. Be sure you're always carrying an ing. Be sure you're always carrying an ing. Hi, Wordy. Hello. Oh, I've been doing quite a bit of remembering, too. Our Sky Hunter adventure was such a long time ago. A long time ago, yes. Oh, when you all got to Badger's house, how long did you wait on the towpath? Mm, I'm not sure. Quite a while. A while? And then? And then Badger came down to the shed, and that's when I asked Mr Trim if he knew him. Oh, and when Mr Trim went up to the house, how long did he tell you to wait outside? Talking of time, Trevor's late. <laughs> oh, what is always behind time? The back of a clock. Right. Time to get back to the story, to find out more about Mr Trim. Oh, all right then. But don't forget, we thought Mr Trim was our friend. Right, Badger, you worm, we meet again. Trim. Be quiet, you fool, we're being watched. Smile. Pretend you don't know me and ask me to come in. in this with you? Please, Trim. McBride. Miss McBride. McBride? Yes, McBride. You wish to talk to me? The Miss McBride, the one they call Cat Mary? <laughs> Some call me that. The great falcon thief. It's an honor to meet you. Oh. <laughs> Trim, you're choking me. Oh, 
I'll be quiet, you great bladder of lard. But who are you? And what's your game? Tell her, Badger. This is Trim. Mr. Trim to you. Mr. Trim. He's a big wheel around these parts, Miss McBride. In what way? I buy and I sell, Miss McBride, in the rare bird trade. I'm surprised Badger hasn't put you in touch with me. Him? He's useless. He's a fool. He promised me he could sell that falcon out there, but he's done nothing. Except he keeps letting the bird escape. Stupid fool. It was only through sheer luck that we managed to catch it again. Yeah, and it bit me and nearly killed me. You big baboon. Oh, that's nice. Call me names. Here I am, almost choked to death. Miss McBride, your luck has changed. I can sell your falcon for you. I'm smuggling some falcon's eggs to a French buyer tonight. He's on a boat in the river. He'll pay big money for that bird. How much? Two thousand pounds. Oh, that's good. And I take half the money as my cut. Oh, no, you won't. You'd better do as I say. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. Because I have three young kids outside ready to call the police. Kids? You need my help, my dears, to keep them off your backs. Kids? Where? You don't believe me? Look for yourself. Oh, no, not them kids again. Friends of yours, Badger. You have one minute to make up your mind. Time's almost up. Well, what do you say? All right. You win. You're very wise. What are you doing? Don't worry. We need them in here. Now, smile, everybody. How can I? Makes me feel sick just to look at them. Little brats. Smile. All's well, my dears. I hope you're not out to double-cross us. Why, Mr. Bride, the very thought. Keep smiling. Come in, my dears. Come along. We could hardly believe it. They all seem to be friends. Oh, oh, what? You nearly broke my nose. Oh, it was the bird man again. He was watching the house through his binoculars. In the swirling sky, a bird can swoop and fly. There's a hunter in the sky. Watch him swoop, see him spy. There's a hunter in the sky, see him stoop. The hunter in the sky.